the root problem we see in the world, uh, just about everywhere we look, uh, are bonding failures uh, that are due to a, a lack of surface readiness. Uh, in other words, something has intervened in the process that was designed by the engineers uh, for materials. They could be it could be painting, coating, sealing, uh, could be uh, uh, cleaning again prior to uh, conformal coatings. So a wide range of applications, uh, and these are uh, very major, very public uh, kinds of product failures. Uh, when people create a specification, uh, they may set a specification for the method, use this solvent, use this technique, use plasma, use flame. Um, but once that surface has been cleaned and energized, uh, then new things start to start to happen in the world. So measuring prior to, to taking the next step is an important step. So that's that cleanliness specification. So. Uh, as you do your checklist, is that specification sensitive? In other words, does it uh, does it provide you really meaningful differences because surfaces are actually quite variable? Is it not destructive? It's not helpful uh, if the part you're having to test, you have to then throw away uh, because it may not reflect uh, what's happening with the rest of the batch. So um, assuming you've got the specification in, in, in place, uh, we're gonna get into this topic of critical control points. So uh, just to briefly give you some information about where our technology came from. This is how we've been able to define these control points for customers. Uh, our, our technology was developed as uh, part of a, a, a program for the defense industry, in particular for servicing aircraft in the field. Uh, we generate water contact angle in, the, in a production environment uh, in a, using a system that can be automated, um, applied, again, robotically, uh, can be applied in a wide range of geometries and lots of different types of surfaces. Uh, and it, it does it through a process called ballistic deposition, which means it overcomes uh, issues like roughness. Uh, it overcomes, uh, again, ideas of being able to measure upside down or at high speeds. And that reading is very rapid. It takes less than three seconds, uh, highly sensitive, and it's not destructive. It doesn't leave any residue uh, on, the, uh, on the part. So then, uh, because the data is collected, it can be uh, this data can be monitored widely. It can be used within your company. It can be used to uh, again provide that immediate feedback, uh, troubleshooting, sharing that specification, those specifications, and then again, because the data has been associated with the work that's happening in a particular day or on a particular um, uh, product, it allows for tracking and tracing that can be tied back to that uh, product if needed.